Well, this is it for Kate Forbes. She's had enough. Following Humza Yusuf's victory at the SMP's leadership election, Kate Forbes has decided to resign from the SMP government. Well, it's finally happened. Kate Forbes is out and uh, she's uh, decided to stick uh, with her principles and uh, her values and not really sell out by joining Humza Yusuf in, her, in his new SMP machine. It's quite fascinating. So good news, bad news. Good news. Yes, Nicola Surgeon has gone. Yay, she's finally out. But bad news. Yeah, we have another Nicola Surgeon in place. <laughs> with more hair on his face we have a bit of a beard and a bit of a double standards when it comes to religions um it's fascinating because um if if, if a church refuses to um perform gay marriage he, he, he will have a meltdown but if a mosque says the same i don't think he's gonna have the same reaction anyway we're now talking about what's going on in, inside the smp establishments because uh Following the, the result uh, of the leadership election, uh, Humza Yusuf decided to form his new team and the whole party is changing and Kate Forbes is out. Um, team Forbes came out to say this. You're going to love what, what they said. Team Forbes said, she told Humza Yusuf where to stick it. <laughs> that, that's the whole statement. Literally. That's literally all we heard. It, brilliant. Simple, short, robust, direct straight talking love it um he actually told him where to stick it good because what Humza decided to do was to do something very sneaky which is classic when it comes to new leaders especially when they win against the rivals who they really hate what they do is they end up offering them a job that is so bad that they know that person is gonna say no anyway but she was she was not gonna actually work with Humza herself in general she did say before it's quite fascinating. He came out and offered her the role of rural affairs. So, so become secretary for rural affairs. And thinking, yeah, Kate Forbes is going to say yes to this. It's absolutely insulting. It's a massive uh, demotion from her role um, in finance and everything else that she's done so far uh, within among the, the SMP establishment. Why is he trying to create even more division? I have no idea. Kind of reminds us of um, when uh, Rishi Sunak and Jeremy Hunt. I always have to say Rishi Sunak and Jeremy Hunt go into power because there's a reason we say Jeremy Hunt as well. You know why. But uh, the, the, when they came and they said, uh, well, the leadership election of the Tory party finished. Nobody actually voted for Rishi and he still became leader and prime minister. He said, we are going to do Tory unity. And then all the anti-Rishi people got kicked out. Uh, he kept a few of them because they're, they're the ones who want to keep their head down like Kemi Badenoch played the long game. Kemi is very patient. She knows exactly what she's doing. And the others were like, well, don't really care. And they started to have massive clashes inside the Tory party. And it's still going on. The clash between central office, CCHQ, and local associations, local parties around the country, that's still going on. That aside, the SMP. Okay, so we actually had Craig Hoy, who's the, uh, the chairman of the Scottish Tories, saying, uh, well, this is just appearing petrol on this civil war. On day one, as a first minister, Humza Yusuf has poured petrol on the SNP civil war. The reality is that the SNP are divided from top to bottom. He said that uh, Ms. Robinson's, uh, Robinson's uh, appointment was uh, the surest sign yet that Humza Yusuf was doubling down on his plans to go to court to try to overturn a UK government veto on their lovely, lovely gender reforms. I mean, he did say before he was elected, before the votes, and literally only a couple of days ago, that he's probably not going to do that. He said, com compared to what Nicola Sturgeon was actually planning to do, he said, well, we should probably be smarter, play the long game. But he's no, he's, he's going to take the UK government to court and thinking that you can actually overturn the decision. You can't, because this wasn't a veto uh, against a domestic policy in Scotland. Because you guys are still covered because of Tony Blair's devolution uh, project. But if you come up with a policy that affects the whole of the United Kingdom, you can't do that, um, Humza, because you can't actually have Westminster Parliament blocking it or vetoing it. You can't 
just come out and completely change the whole of legislation that affects the Equalities Act, for example, that applies to the whole of the kingdom, and say, no, this is just a basic uh, domestic policy for the welfare of the Scottish people. Really? If you really cared about the welfare of the Scottish people, you would sort out the education system, the healthcare system, the policing and crimes c continues to go up in Scotland. Absolute chaos. And you wanted devolution. You people wanted devolution. If you didn't have it, then of course you could say everything's a fault of Westminster because they are running everything centrally. But they're not running everything centrally. Yes, in England, everything's a mess because things are run centrally. But Wales, Northern Ireland, obviously separately, but even in Scotland, you have a different situation. You guys asked for devolved powers and you were given by uh, Tony Blair and now you're making a mess. It's on you. And now you're trying to make changes to the whole of legislations across the whole kingdom. You don't have that much power. Anyway, um, I, I do want to, and as I say in the previous videos, uh, empower uh, street journalism and citizen journalism. We keep saying we are the media, and I'm including you guys into this. And I'm trying to expand the team. Uh, so if those of you who are interested, uh, get in touch with me, because I, all I want is um, people from different counties and different parts of the country uh, if you find stories, news stories there uh, locally, especially when, when your um, your local papers and websites and blogs and everything else, anything that affects the area that could actually affect the whole country, whether it's the the U-less policies or low traffic neighborhoods or anything else, or scandals in the NHS or schools and education system, and um, get in touch with me at two C TV at outlook dot com if you're interested in joining the team as a contributor and a reporter. Um, you're going to get things in return. We're going to have some perks. Uh, you can actually feature on the channel if you want with me um, live and also become a contributor and get a shout out. But there will be other incentives as well. We're not going to do slavery on this channel. Uh, it, I just want to, we keep saying we are the media. I just want to make sure that we are doing this together. I already try my best every day to find news stories that uh, the mainstream media are ignoring. But I want to do more and I can't do everything by myself. So if, if you guys want to help expand my team, then it will be great. Just send me an email with your details and we'll have a proper chat about this. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.